Welcome to my YouTube channel. This time we are going to change the face of one person for the face of another. This effect works for any photo, but if you want to try the same ones that I will use, the images used in this video are in the description. Let's start. To start, we open the two images that we want to use. We recommend naming each image by names or numbers so that it is easier to identify later. Now we go to the image of the face that we want to put, and using the lasso tool we select the contour of the face. It doesn't have to be a perfect contour. Then with the Ctrl key plus C we copy the selection and paste the selection in the other image with Ctrl plus V. Once the image is pasted, with Ctrl plus T we adjust the size of the face that we paste so that it is consistent with the face of the other subject. In the event that the face contour protrudes too much, we can remove the edges with the eraser tool. Now with the control key pressed, we click on the face layer to make a selection. Then we go to the image options, adjustments and then click on match color. In the match color options, we select in source, the layer of the subject to which we are changing the face, and in the option called layer, we select the background layer and see how the face becomes the same color as the other subject. Now we duplicate the background layer with control plus J. Again with control pressed. We click on the face layer, we go to select, modify and click on contract and we put a value of 5 and we see with this it reduces our selection. Keeping this selection, we go to the layer that we duplicate and with the backspace key we eliminate the selected area. Now we select the duplicate layer and the face layer, and we are going to edit it, and click on auto blend layers. In blend method, select panorama and leave the option seamless tones and colors and content aware fill transparent areas active. We see that we get an almost perfect mixing result. To improve it we will use the spot healing tool. With the spot healing tool we click in some areas where we see some imperfections. If by clicking you get a result that you do not want, you can undo it by pressing Ctrl plus Z. Now we just have to fix the imperfections and we will have our effect finished. If you liked this video, don't forget to support us by leaving a like, commenting and subscribing to our channel, that would be very helpful. Now let's see the result.